Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to update the post. So, how to update the post through the Redux, we will try to see. Now, here we have seen the view details, right? Let's go into this one. So, in the components and in the post page, we are having the post.js. So, at the top, we are showing the view details. Now, what I will try to do is, so now I will try to add update details also. At the bottom, I will try to add the link. So here I can write something like post slash edit slash and here I can write edit post details or something like this. Okay, so this is the link I am adding. So let's try to refresh. So here I am able to see the edit details also. So what I will try to do here instead of adding this one as a link. So let's paste copy this one and div inside the div I will try to paste it. Okay, so that it will come down. Now I have made the edit details also. Now if I click on this edit details. Now we are able to see the post slash edit slash some unique number so that is the id post id now let's try to design the page also that is nothing but the edit post here i will be creating new file edit post dot js okay edit post dot js so now in this edit post dot js what i will try to do i will try to create function edit post okay and for the function also we can use the connect thing so how we have used uh, what we can say use store and also uh, use dispatch like that also you can use or otherwise you can use the connect thing also let's i will try to show it using the connect thing for this one so you edit post so you can use what you want is you can use this use dispatch how we have created in the create post we can use the use dispatch thing also in the function in the class means you need to use the connect uh, connect method which is available in the react redux now here i will be using written div so here i will be using div edit post details okay so i'll be using like this edit post details now what i can do so here uh, what i will try to do is here you will be having the route right so in this route we will try to add the condition so here i will be adding one div so that what i can do is so here you will be having one div okay in this div we can add one route okay so route is equal to path is equal to whenever we are having something like uh, slash post slash edit slash id so show the component okay show the component um, edit post right so edit post so this is the component and what i can write here so we can implement the switch so we can use the switch so here also i can copy this one and i can paste it down and here what i can do is i can write the exact okay so that depends so now we have added the switch and also this one so let's try to import the switch yeah i think most of the things is perfect so now if i try to go here so we are able to see i think so here i will be doing the post slash edit something like this so here i will be able to see the post okay if i click on the edit details i am able to see the edit post details if i click on the view details i am able to see the single post page click on the edit edit post details we are able to see so up to here it's fine now let's try to design the edit post details form so what i can do here so edit post i can write something like this and here i can take another do and here i will be try, trying to write the form so in this form i will be having one div now here i will be having one label so title and another one will be the div so what we can do what we can say input type is equal to text okay so this is one one title and another another form input is due so here you will be having another one label so in this label i can write description okay so design thing we will write it so here another one what i can do is another due so here in this one text area so text area we will be having the text area so this is the thing so now what i can do is uh, let's try to add the classes class name is equal to so here we can write border border hyphen uh, gray gray hyphen so what we can write so 500 or something like this and you can add something like p hyphen 1 okay let's write it like this so now for the same thing i will add the classes for this text area also what i can do is so here i can add the class name sorry class name is equal to my hyphen 2 so that margin will be applied 
top and bottom and here also i will apply class is equal to m by hyphen 2 fine and here I, what i will try to do is so here i will add a button okay so button and this button type is equal to submit so in this submit and also the class name so what we can apply here is bg hyphen red hyphen 500 text hyphen white and also px hyphen 3 py hyphen 2 i think most probably it's sufficient i think so here i can write edit post or update post whatever thing so this is the form i have designed so let's try to see the form so here we are able to see the form and what i will try to do so here i can use something like yeah so w hyphen full remember we are using the tailwind css classes these are not bootstrap classes tailwind css classes in this uh, project we are using the tailwind classes so now we have created the edit post now whenever a user wants to <coughs> submit this uh, as uh, so first what we need to do we need to populate whenever we click on the edit use details the whatever the data we hear it is available we need to pre-populate it here so what i can do so we are able to get the what i can say get the details right so now what i will try to do is so let's go to the selectors the same concept so we are having the post selectors right post selectors so let's open the selectors and we are having the get post if you try to send the post id the create selector is already present we can able to get the details now what i will try to do here so we are we will be having also the use selector also you will be having in the functional component so let's try to do like this make state do props is equal to and here you will be having a method and here you will be having constant post is equal to get post okay we will be calling like this and get post should be imported from the selectors okay and we need to return uh, what i can say sorry get post so what is this happening get post so what is that one so in the post selector yeah we are having get post only right why this one is showing error for us yeah so this is the thing we need to import so let's try to see at the top oh we are not able to import this one why so let's try to import it here okay import from so selector sorry so now here we can go to the store yeah slash selectors slash post selectors and here i can use get post right get post yeah that's it so now get post we are able to get the output yeah here i need to return state comma props you'll be having the state comma props and here this one is a function and you need to return in a such a way that the post will be something like you need you can call the post of and what we can do here what we'll try to say we need to send the state and also the props dot match dot params dot id we will be sending this one so now we are able to get the post and here we need to use the connect and for this one we need to send the parameter as a parameter for the return value and here what we can say so here i can use make state to props that's it so connect should be imported from the react redux so let's import this connect thing okay done and let's say if i go to the edit post and all those things it's fine and here what i can do so here we are able to use this props right so now what i will try to do here instead of having this one so i will try to have constant post okay comma set post is equal to is equal to use state so i will be using the use state of props dot post so first i will be defaultly using this props dot post okay so now we, we will be having here the props as the <coughs> argument parameter and here i will be using value is equal to post dot title right so post dot title and here what i can do so this is a text area right so here i can use value is equal to post dot description okay so we will be showing the post dot description also so first let's try to see the output so whether we are getting the output or not if i try to see the output what is the error we are getting props is not defined i think we can refresh this one and we can get the output most probably yeah we are able to get the output if i click on the edit details here if i click on the edit details we are not able to see the output so first if i am in the post page so i am able to see the output for the first time 
okay so for the second time when i'm clicking on other edit post details we are not able to see so what could be the reason so here we need to add the use effect so let's try to add the use effect okay use effect of what i can do here so i when i need to call this use effect so here whenever we are up we are getting update so that is nothing but the uh, what we can say when we when we are we are updated when we are getting the update that is nothing but the props dot match so whenever this props dot match is getting updated so now you need to update so here what i can do set post of okay set post of so now set post of what we need to do mm, oh sorry when this props dot post is got updated okay set post of we need to update props dot post that's it i think host probably this one will be working i think so let's try to refresh this one yeah okay when i click on this one see now we are able to get the details so now we are successfully able to get the details and we are able to show it in the edit post so for up to now what we have did we have designed the uh, what we can say design that this design designed this edit post form and also we are able to show the details here we are able to show the details in the pre-populated form and now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to submit this form and we will try to update this form through the back end and also what we will do we will update the same thing in the redux and we will move it to the post page okay so let's try to do this in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you